Hi guys, welcome to JTEC WP. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to speed up a WordPress website using WP Rocket, Imageify, and a free CDN from Cloudflare. We're going to take a slow website with like an F grade, and we're going to get it to an A grade using GT Metrics. I would appreciate it if you'd use my affiliate links below for WP Rocket, as that helps the channel and keeps us making new content. Let's get started. In this tutorial, we're going to use the JTEC WP website make it a lot faster using a plugin called WP Rocket and it really does what it says on the tin make WordPress load fast in a few clicks you don't need any prior technical knowledge as long as you can click a few boxes it's going to speed up your site and for speed testing we're going to use two sites we're going to use GT Metrics and Pingdom as these are very good at running speed tests on websites and they give you feedback where your site's slow where your site's fast how to improve it and to finish off we're going to use a site called Cloudflare, which offers a free CDN, which is a content distribution network, which also helps to speed up your site even more, and it's free. WP Rocket currently has three options. We've got a single site, which is great if you've just got one website. It's got the plus option, which is great if you've got three websites. And if you're a developer or a web design company, you probably want to go for infinite, as this gives you unlimited websites. Choose which one is most suitable for you, and you can go through the purchase process and eventually it will give you a file. So once you download it, you'll get wprocket.zip. So I'm going to leave that in my downloads folder for now. First thing I'm going to do is go into GT Metrics. I want to see how fast my site is right now. So I'm going to run a quick test. The test does take a couple of minutes, so please be patient. All right, so our test finished. So this site's got no optimization on it whatsoever. So this is our starting point. So page speed score F, pretty bad. Y slow, 53%, fully loaded time, 14 seconds. In reality, it loads a lot quicker than that. Our page size, 6.74 megabytes, request 133. So these are the important figures to take note of on the right in the page details. And we'll see down here, we go to page speed, we've got no compression, surf scaled images, which means we're sending out large images. It says we're not deferring parsing of JavaScript, we're not leveraging browser caching, and we could optimize our images a lot better. The Y slow, we can have a look at that. Similarly, green's good, red is bad. So we're gonna try and improve all of these using WP Rocket. The waterfall shows you what's loading and how long it's taking. I'm gonna run a similar test using tools.pingdom.com, pasting my website. You can select the location that's suitable for you. I'm in the UK, so I select Europe, United Kingdom, London, and press start test. Again, it takes a few moments for the test to run. So our results are in. It's given us a performance grade of D, page size 5.7 meg, load time 1.23 seconds, which is about realistic. That's what I'm seeing on screen. If we go to GT Metrics, it's telling us fully loaded time 14 seconds. So you see why I say take it with a pinch of salt. So we've got our first benchmarks in. Next step I'm gonna do is install the plugin. So I go plugin, add new, upload plugin, choose a file, Go to our downloads folder, wprocket.zip, open, install now. Once the plugin's installed, activate the plugin. Simply by activating it, I would expect to see a small improvement on GT Metrics. I'm going to run the test again. I've opened up a new tab so I can run the test and compare the two results. Paste in my URL, test the site. Our page is already showing us faster in GT Metrics. Looking at the first test we did, 14 seconds, 6.74 megabytes, 133 requests. And our second one, we're down to 91 requests and it's getting a bit better. And that's without doing much at all. To get to the WP Rocket settings, you want to go to plugins, find WP Rocket and go to settings. WP Rocket have their own CDN called Rocket CDN, which I haven't used. I'm going to get rid of that message. Would you allow WP Rocket to collect sensitive data? Yes, that's no problem, we can do that. It's telling us stats about our website server. So as we're running Apache 7.4, WordPress version number, which current theme is, current site language. On the left-hand side of the dashboard, this is where we're gonna be able to change settings. Some of them we're not gonna to touch at all, and I'm gonna go into them one by one. In the cache tab, we're not gonna change anything on here. The default settings are perfect for what we need to do. Next, I'm gonna move on to file optimization. It's a simple process of turn something on, refresh the page, does it make a difference or does it break the site? I'm gonna turn on minify CSS files. 
It gives me a little warning, could break things. It just says, if you break it, deactivate it. I'm gonna activate it. Now our site is gonna be using HTTP2, so I don't want to enable this one. Optimize CSS delivery, we'll tick that. And if you're a developer, you probably wanna use this box. If you're a normal person like me, you won't need to touch this. All I'm gonna do now is just press save. I'm now going to run another GT metrics test to see if it's improved our site. Here's our original rating. Here's after enabling it. And again, yeah, there's a little bit of difference in page size. What I'm going to do now is carry on and enable a few more options. Remove jQuery migrate, minify JavaScript files. Again, if it causes any errors, we're just going to come back and deactivate it. This one, again, we're using HTTP2. Don't need to turn that on. Save changes. And it's telling us at the top, it's started creating some CSS files. I'm also gonna enable load JavaScript deferred as it says it can help improve load time. Moving on, we're gonna go into the media tab lazy load enable enable for iframes and videos we can set youtube to replace the iframe with a preview image which saves it downloading a lot of video file i'm not using anything that uses wordpress embed so i can disable that webp we'll come back to that later on because there's a plugin we can add which will optimize our images for webp format save changes our performance scores are continuing to improve. Page load time is quicker, page size is smaller, and we're getting less requests, so we're along the right lines. In the preload tab, we don't need to change much in here. I'm just gonna enable link preloading. I don't need to fill anything in the boxes, save changes. And when you're doing this, always check the front end of your site occasionally, make sure it hasn't crashed or disappeared. I'm quite happy it's all going pretty well so far. Advanced rules, again, this is more if you're a software developer or a WordPress developer. I just don't need to touch these at all. Database, we can tell it to clean up revisions, clean up drafts, clean up trash, reduce any spam comments, trash comments, get rid of any expired transients. You can delete all transients. When you run this, there'll probably be some more appearing back in here. We can optimize the table, save changes and optimize. Up here it says 41 revisions, one auto draft, 21 transits and 10 tables optimized. So that makes the database a little bit more efficient. To connect Cloudflare to WP Rocket, we go down to add-ons, scroll down to Cloudflare, modify options, and then we start filling in the details. So if you go to cloudflare.com, you can sign up for a free account. So you can sign up here, create account, I have one already, so I'm just going to go to their login screen. I've got several sites hosted on Cloudflare and I've been really impressed with the service. To add your site, hover over the add a site button, click it, and then enter the name of your website. I enter the name of the site you don't need to put HTTPS in it. I press add site. Give it a moment. We're gonna go with the free plan. Confirm plan. Once it's done its initial scan, just press continue. What we need to do now is log into our domain name and change the name servers. Here are my existing name servers, and this is what we need to change name server one to, and this is what we need to change name server two. Now I'm in my name server settings. I can now copy what it says from Cloudflare. So here's my first name server one. Copy that in, paste in here. Then we want name server two. Copy that and paste into second name server and press update. It may take some time for this change to complete. As you can see, it says, please allow 12 to 48 hours for these changes to take effect. 
with my domain company, they're pretty quick. And then we go back to Cloudflare. We click on done, check name servers. Get started. Set encryption to full. Press save. To improve security, we want to turn this on because we always want to use HTTPS. I press save. Then we want to tick JavaScript, CSS, HTML. Press save. Broccoli, turn that on because that's a system made by Cloudflare that helps speed things up. Press save. And then once you're done, press finish. And that's that part of Cloudflare set up. To find your global API key, go to my profile. And then we're looking for API tokens. Scroll down to see global API key, press view. Enter your Cloudflare password, tick I'm human, paste in your global API key and your email address. To find your zone ID, go to account home, click on your domain name, scroll down to zone ID, highlight this, copy it and paste it. Enable optimal settings, this automatically enhances your Cloudflare configuration, and then save changes. After enabling Cloudflare, I've run another test. Our grades have improved again, the loading time's down to six seconds, page size down to 2.8 meg, and 82 requests. On Pingdom, we've now got a C grade. Our load time is 1.04 seconds, 96 requests, page size 3.4 meg. I'll scroll down, let's have a look. Content type, XHR, that's our YouTube video loading into that, is taking up about 1.1 meg. If we swap the YouTube video for a picture, we would save about a megabyte. That's our CDN setup completed. Heartbeat, I'm using Elementor, so I do not want to adjust this at all because this could stop Elementor from working. Add-ons, we've added in our CDN here. And we'll go on to image optimization. And I highly recommend using Imageify, it is fantastic. We can install it from here. And what it is, it's a free plugin that will optimize your images and it will also convert them to WebP. You can get a free account, you can sign up for free. And once you've signed up, they'll give you an API key. I'm just gonna sign into my account and grab my API key now. And to find your API key, you can go up to the top right, API integration, and copy the key. So once that's copied, you can go back to WP Rocket, I have my API key, paste that in the box, connect me, and if your API key is valid, you're good to go. Press OK. Now go to settings. This will take us to Imageify. And what we want is auto optimize image and upload. So when you upload your images, it will reduce them in size, backup original images, keep that ticked. Optimization, create WebP versions of images. Yes, we want that. Display images in WebP format on the site. Yes. If you use a CDN, specify the URL. If you've got the free account, I believe it gives you 25 meg. If you've got the paid account like me, you can uh, have various plans. I've got the one gig. Press Imageify them all. Start the optimization. And then you just sit back and wait. When Imageify is finished running, it will show you the original size of the image, which is 15.9 megabytes, and the optimized size, which is four megabytes, saving 75% and it's also converted our images into WebP. So if you're using a browser like Google or Safari, it will use the smaller, faster WebP images. After doing the image optimization, I've reloaded GT Metrics, ran a test. Our page size is down to 3.93 and 83 requests, but it's telling us we could still make further improvements. It's saying we can make our logo a bit smaller, so by adjusting the size of the logo from this size here, to this size, we could probably get that in the green. Also, browser caching, I'm looking at this and a lot of this looks like the Google video in YouTube. So if I took the video out of the site, it would probably solve that for us. 
And again, you see there our YouTube video on the home page is causing that to be a low score. I'm going to take it out just so you can see what it's like without that on there. So I go to the page, edit with Elementor, and I'm just going to take the video out. So here's our problem here, the video in the background. Set it to an image, update, rerun the test. Having removed the Google video from the website, it significantly improved our scores. So we have an A grade there for page speed, a B for Y slow. Our load time is now 5.2 seconds, page size 1.2 meg and 46 requests. So it was our Google video that was causing that to be quite slow. Looking at this one here, so scale images, Yep, that's it. If we change our logo, we could probably get that up to an A grade. Pingdom has also improved with a load time of 967 milliseconds, so we're under a second. 57 requests, which is about right. Page size about 1.4 megabytes. Performance grade C, so it still reckons we could we could get more out of it. And here's where we see taking out the YouTube video has made a big size saving. We were at about 1.4 megabytes before, so it's down to 707 kilobytes. And I'm going to fix this one image here that says it's a bit big. UT Metrics and Pingdom are both telling me that this image here, this WordPress logo, was the one that's causing a problem and could be optimised. What I've done is I've gone to a site and downloaded an SVG version, which is a much smaller file. All we need to do now is add in, we look for an icon, move the icon across above there, and then we're going to press Upload SVG enable then we're going to drag in our SVG file press insert media we're going to delete our old one and now all we're going to do is increase the size of it so I go to style size I've added in our WordPress SVG logo we're going to press update and then I'm just going to rerun the test now and see what it does so there's our original from what we started at. Let's retest it. And our test results are in, look at that. So we're looking at A grades all the way along. A grades there, 5.6 seconds, 1.4 meg. So you can see that our optimized images, it worked pretty good. Uh, it says there's an icon on there that we can adjust somewhere for 36% reduction, but that's that's nothing really. And that's the basics of how you optimize a site with WP Rocket. Okay guys, if you found that useful, don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button. I've got plenty more content about web design, tips and tricks for WordPress, and tips for content creators. So I'll see you on the next one.